today we're going to look at the dynamics of jasmine flower. The piece starts in forte. In the fourth bar, you get a diminuendo all the way to piano. Then, six bars later, it starts gradually going louder, but never back to forte. Mezzo forte, half forte, almost forte. Yeah. And then eventually, a few bars later, it goes quieter again until it dies out on the last note. So, overall, except for a confident start, the piece is fairly quiet. Now, what's the easiest way to change your dynamics? It's just bow speed. Yeah, you will take a note. For example, my first note, it is F sharp. Yeah, I do the same thing, but I'm going to gradually slow down. You're going to notice that the dynamics go down. So how can you use this? I suggest when you start the piece. It's forte, so it's okay to start with a whole bow for the first note. Yeah, right now what I've done is use a whole bow for every quarter note, every crochet, and half a bow for every eighth note or every quaver. And I saved bow on that minimum, but because the minimum is an up bow, it's easy to stay loud even though the bow goes slower. Yeah, that's easy. Now the next two bars are identical, however, this time the second bar has a diminuendo, so it goes loud. And start saving. Slow down that bow. And so when you arrive at the end of the bar, you're not all the way at the heel. You want to avoid being at the heel there, because the next bar starts piano. And playing piano quietly at the heel is possible. But it's hard work and it doesn't quite sound as nice than if you do it in the middle of the bow, for example. And now we let the bow run to the tip and the rest we stay as close to the tip as we can until we get to the crescendo. very difficult because you've just had a long apple, short down, again, so by now you're at the heel, right? And you won't be there because you have that really long semi brief coming up, four beats long. But try to start it as quiet as you can and then drift your bow towards the fingerboard once you get towards the tip and then gently lift the bow away from the string then the note dies that's what you want to achieve anyway, now we're going to do all that while you play at, with the metronome so that's a little bit more tricky yeah 
let's give it a go. So, forte first. Okay, let's find the first note, D. Okay, so we start forte at the heel. One, two, three, four. So that's that, yeah, it's a bit of extreme contrast I've tried to make in the dynamics and maybe you noticed that I didn't go all the way to the heel for the last note and again, I'm also restricted with the pochetti note as long as the metronome is on, we have to stay to the same tempo, you get more chance to go towards that heel if you want to um, when you have the written note on, you don't have to really, but it might be easier if you want to do a really long note and let it die out during a return it will even be longer yeah. so anyway good luck with that experiment with this yeah you're you have to follow what the music says yeah you have to start forte you have to go piano but what is forte what is piano how extreme do you want to go yeah that's up to you so there's still some freedom there, as long as you follow the general guidelines, you have some freedom. See how quiet you can go, how good you can control a piano, slow note on an up bow, for example. That's very hard, but it's there, so play around with it and see what you can achieve. Anyway, two more videos to go, 60 and 80, and that's it. I'll see you there.